Hello dreamers, welcome back to Natalia's videos with Dreamer Design. Uh, welcome everyone. If you are new on this channel, please consider to subscribe. Uh, share our video with your friends so everybody can invite everyone and we have in here lots of fun, lots of tutorials, lots of DIYs and today we will have some fun. Not only we will work today with brand new canvas that I already did unboxing and a little bit of AB color diamond paint. I still cannot pronounce proper way. <laughs> Um, artist I know Guido Borelli, Guido Borelli, but the um, canvas name, I will put screenshot of the picture for you so you can read it because I don't know how to pronounce I wish there was name in English and not in Ta Italian because I can't really pronounce the name. So anyway, we have today not only a diamond painting tutorial with you and some fun game, also we have today some mini unboxing from Dreamer Design. So we will incorporate this all together in one video and maybe you will find something very interesting in here that you can use for your diamond painting. So uh, if you are ready, we will start on this uh, diamond painting and I will show you maybe if my camera will focus I will show you right now so you can read exactly what we will work on hold on there beautiful image and you can read the name sorry for my shaky not steady hands so that's the image we will work today. This is a brand new diamond painting uh, that would release number three. It's around diamonds. And of course the image is absolutely stunning. So let's go to the table and start our video. Before we start work on this beautiful canvas, let's do a mini unboxing that I've received. Uh, I did open already because I didn't know from whom this package was at first. So let's see a few more things in here I have. Beautiful colors, isn't it? Okay, now it's empty package. We can put this envelope aside. And let's check first in here what we have. And here we have some amazing tool that I did not expect to receive actually. I was waiting uh, for this stuff <laughs> that is actually a purpose of our uh, tutorial today. But dreamers kindly provide me with this amazing tool, straightener tool that you see me using in my videos on my own channel of craft forever all the time the only difference was uh, it was a no logo because it was a no brand this tool now I have a very fancy I think it's the same design isn't it or mine was straight oh now I cannot remember but look at this uh, I love and company brand uh, put their logo on the stuff and it looks very you know special now now it's special and I can use this all the time um, it probably look a little bit different feels like my doesn't have a, this much of the angle in here I don't know I will have to check it compare two of them now what else we have we have a huge tray also has a logo on it and we have an opening in here if you have to pour your beads out out from your um, the tray into the bags and what else we have in here we have in here our tool that is very important uh, this one very similar to the one I have, but my uh, old one that I have handled a little bit different. So here's the design, how it's made. And this tool is very, very important when you want to press your diamonds into your canvas. And you will hear lots of poppins going on. 
if you think you place your diamonds all straight and they are flat you would be surprised how many diamonds will pop into the canvas after you roll um, I try one time I thought I did perfect job because I was doing a one by one diamonds placing on my canvas and when I start to roll I hear click 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 I was like whoa good thing I roll it because I would trust myself and I would think that I did good job so this roller is really really important like this tool are the best kit I would say if you have a huge background of the same color you will find this tray are very very handy because it's so much bigger than your regular tray look at how big uh, this really good work for the multi-placer if you use a multi-placer on your canvas and will create lots of good lines in here and good thing for the opening that you can easy pour later uh, your diamonds back into the bag now let's see what else in here well thank you so much dreamers design for providing me with these tools now let's see okay now this envelope is empty i just love the way they um have this all this colorful beautiful envelopes now what's in here i think we need to cut in here to get ourselves out of the glue residue stick to us I don't think I pick good scissors to do this job. We will fight for it. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Surprise, surprise. I have no idea what's in here. As I say, I was waiting for these pieces in here. We will see what's in here uh, to create this tutorial for you. But in here, I see some extra tools. What is it? Oh, okay. Nice fancy bag with this like cashmere soft, soft, soft fabric. Oh, I love these bags. Some of them I'm using for my jewelry, for gold jewelry to keep them nice and cozy. So I see already in here a USB cord, one placer, three placer, six placer. This one probably up to nine maybe, doesn't have a number on it. And the bandy pen that I like to use in my videos very often uh, without being my hand in a camera shot. And then we have a pen, oh wow, look at this fancy stuff. dreamer design logo with the switcher and the light okay so i did a review on my own channel a pen with the light but that was a totally different design it was a much smaller uh, like a rose gold pen it was different design so this one uh, definitely not the same and let's see how this pieces will fit in here you just push it I don't want to push all the way but definitely stay in strong inside to create but uh, I did review about pen with the light uh, so we will see this one as well. This one a little bit different, but it's probably the same concept uh, You can use as a regular flashlight to be honest. It has a USB cord that you can charge right off your computer even or from the plug on your cell phone That's wonderful Okay That's something new that I totally did not expect to have Let's put back in here because we are not going to use this Today we will use today something different and let me show you what we have in here uh, So for those who did know that dreamers design have a tool section and there's probably some more tools and different kind of pens up there Please check it out. The link will be under the video 
um, on my channel for sure and I, I believe Dreamer Design will put some links under the video as well. So let's see what is in this envelopes that look so beautiful. Pretty minty green light color and this is our project for today. So this is the paper sheets that you replace your clear sheet. Uh, this paper that doesn't stick to the glue and for those especially who like to work on a canvases in section this is a very good deal to have I don't know how many sheets in here it doesn't say on a packaging but uh, I will check on a website uh, looks like a lot in here I didn't expect this to be this many so we have obviously um, three more packages and oh my god that's a lot of I don't know how many in here right now but that's the size uh, what size would be four by six maybe uh, looks like maybe four by six and you replace them on your canvas and then you work by section by peeling one by one uh, for those of you who follow me for a long time then you know I like to work by the color cross country look how many lots of pages in here um, I like to work across the country pick color and go so this will be challenge for me I will challenge myself I will cover this gorgeous image this gorgeous diamond painting that I will not pronounce name because I will never see uh, the proper name uh, I just will say that this is beautiful Italian uh, little town village and I will place them and I will challenge myself to work by the section and also we will create a little bit game how to work with it so let's me prepare for the next step and we will start okay my friends let's have some fun uh, while I pass my video I count it's 30 sheets in here and there is no uh, right or wrong side as you can see it's coming out easy from both sides so that is a wonderful you never will make a mistake and stick in a wrong way and then it's going to stick very very hard because for example if this sheet probably other side would be sticking very hard to the canvas so I face this canvas next uh, like facing to me so I can have a little bit better see what I'm doing in here and I will try to place my sheets We will not do like the whole thing uh, all the way, just a few sheets just so we can have some fun, maybe like two or three lines so we don't spend too much time. This is definitely will be challenge for me as I don't like to work in section and I always say that I work in the country cross country style so i will be challenging myself here surprisingly my girl my little girl catherine who's already overtowering me because she's growing so tall she likes to work by the section so she definitely will use this sheets to cover her diamond painting that she worked on it and I do have some diamond painting smaller canvas from Dreamer Design that is um, kind of like a older release and I will ask her if she would like to diamond paint on it and I even had in my mind what if we can do mother and daughter diamond paint video together I'm not sure if 
trimmer design would like this idea or not to work together for example on this canvas okay a little bit tricky because I'm not used to do that okay it's not exactly perfect match in here uh, because I'm trying to do kind of faster okay not exactly cover proper but I still will keep my uh, clear sheet so for now Okay, let me put a couple of more sheets in here, right on the bottom. What I will do now, I will put my numbers in here, just if I would do like regularly, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven twelve you can cover the whole sheet if you wish i will do just this corner for the purpose of this video and we will see if i i like to work by the section or i still will be working cross country okay friends now is the fun part uh, you can download this spin wheel for free from the uh, Play uh, Store and I already added in here numbers from 1 to 12 because we have a 12 pages on our canvas uh, and you can see that 1 is empty usually 1 is always will be blank so I created numbers from 1 to 12 and now that's the fun part. We can spin and choose which number we would love to do first on our canvas. Or you can ask your kids, for example, ask your family members, uh, pick number from 1 to 12 and whatever they will pick, you will find that sheet that we just write down numbers and you start work from there so we will use our spin wheel because it's a fun you can create for any other you chose in the house i have one of those in here so let's spin and see what section we will be working today on and that is number three it will show us in here number three and we will find section on our canvas number three if we move our tripod all the way up there that is our third page so we will be working on this page right in here and that will be roof of the house I think and as you can tell I put on the top also my clear sheet just to keep everything protected so nothing fell out and if I have a spaces between those pages nothing dirty will be stick so I always keep I love this one it's not very crunchy and like squeaky paper so let me set now camera and prepare my diamonds and we will work a little bit together with you on a section number three so here it is, our section number three in here and it will be facing you. So we will peel now and see what kind of uh, diamonds we will have around this, uh, in this section. So what I will do to make it kind of like separate maybe this section from another, I will grab one more one more piece of uh, plastic paper not plastic paper but protective sheet so we kind of like have more outline in box i didn't think we will get like on the edge of our spin so i will place one more in here just just to kind of keep it you know now we can peel it and this is will be in a block so that will kind of make it fair right and i will use this little piece right now if i have to get to some area i will place it so my hand not stick to the canvas uh, right now i think we will pick the most that kind of popping in my eyes and trust me you will have better uh, you will see better it will be lighter when i bring camera a little bit close to the canvas 
uh, first of all I see this black patches in here so when I look on this symbol this is symbol 310 and I will use in here a little tray not big tray because we will have a lots of change in colors in here and little tray will be the best also you can use multi tray I did have video tutorial on this channel how you can use multi trays to work in a confetti area uh, by the way reminder one more time because you always ask me how to line up diamonds put towards your hand shake from the left to the right this tray a little bit smaller so you're not gonna have a big lines but still lines enough for you to place your diamonds and let's see this diamonds a little bit in a close shot you can see how nice and shiny they are all right now let me bring you close to the area that we will work on and now we will have a better light in here as well just a little bit readjustments okay so we will start probably further okay so I will start from the edge this is going to be my challenge obviously these lines will be go a little bit further under the other sheet so I will place them later because I did not place this uh, sheet straight enough so it's kind of a little bit overlapping but that's okay and I will use in here this the other tool from dreamer design that this tip is wonderful for AB diamonds uh, at this point I don't know if we will have an AB diamonds in this area or not uh, number two oh yes we are number two that's the AB diamonds we will definitely place them on this canvas so all right now for me not to stick I will keep this sheet for me as a protective guide put my tray on it and let's place our diamonds and create this block of colors and who knows maybe this will change my mind the way I work and maybe I will like to work in a section and not cross country who knows lots of you like to work this way as I mentioned before Catherine my little girl she liked to work this way because she say I can see better progress whatever I'm doing okay slowly we will be moving our camera towards us uh, light could be changing I am by the window but sounds go up and down I will be editing some filter light filter into this video so you will have a little bit better and clear picture than I see right now even I work little section I still work by the kind of cross country on a little area some of you really work like line by line for me I cannot imagine to change color this often or this definitely need to be like all colors open at once to do that because for me that would be very very slow me down and as a reviewer youtuber and content creator I need to finish my diamond paintings really fast and I find the, the way I work it's faster for me but I don't mind to challenge and try something different I do love how you work by the section and it's revealing big chunks of uh, finished product and I just can't force to do this for myself so hopefully after today I will maybe like him so then we have this little tiny straightener that you can use right away this tool also will be in your diamond painting kit when you receive your diamond painting uh, you can order separately uh, also the, the big one tool we can use on the very end when you finish 
one of the section then you do section by section uh, straightener your diamonds with the bigger tool and by the way I did um, look them together by my older one and the new one from dreamer design they are say sh same shape uh, the, the difference is now it's a branded and it's a beautiful to use because it has a signature on it uh, I would love to welcome all our new viewers on this channel Thank you very much for stopping by. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and look around because I did create lots of video tutorials for beginners and some of you just now started your first diamond painting. I said that you will find lots of good tips and tricks how to work, how to start. Uh, there's lots of lots of videos. Just go through the videos and check titles uh, maybe you will find something that really could be useful for you it's always good to have some extra tips if you are new to this kind of craft let's move forward I should try to use your multiplacer because it is pour on glue and pour on glue is the best canvas that can work for any tools uh, because it will be easy to fix later if you accidentally create your line not very straight that will definitely help you but also multiplacer will help you to create your diamond painting more faster maybe you're doing for somebody as a gift and you have not much time left and you need to be done fast so that way multiplacer definitely could be a very very good help for that reason uh, let me see what I have in here my tools for the multiplacer uh, I have in here my seven placer with me right now and I will try to create this long lines in here. We just will move a little bit. I think you still can see very well. Let me get diamonds on it. And I will do, remember I put my diamonds on my first diamond and then I walk kind of. Also with multiplacer you can do up to you know seven diamonds three four two and one doesn't matter you like missing here one you just go with like even with the multiplacer okay see I have a seven placer but this will be perfect for me also to work by placing three three diamonds at once with the seven placer because you can visually see in your tray how many diamonds are looking at you and even you have to place one you just grab a one diamond and finish it so I really like this tool for the speed for the quality not really like for the quality of diamonds lines it could be a little bit tricky if you don't have a steady hand but as I always say practice make perfect so the more you practice, the better you will be by creating lines as straight as possible. And then, of course, to fix a little bit, you can go back and fix with the tool. And I have in here my big tool that we can work later together and fix on them. Or we can just like go and literally push the whole line. But usually with this big tool I like to work later on the very very end when all area already finished but for the little tiny places this tool more than enough good for you to start with. So yes, now this little tool you will get in your every diamond painting kit that you purchase and that's what's beautiful about this. 
now let me move a little bit more this way and this is going to be our last line because on the side in here we already don't have any black just a couple lines in here so let's finish them with multiplacer and maybe we will have time to create with you those gorgeous AB colors I know uh, some of you say that you hold the AB colors to the very very end and I do the same thing but if I record video for you, I like to have them placed first because I know how much fun it is to watch them to be placed and I want you to see them. So for that reason, I always kind of try to place them first as much as possible because that's fun to create video with them. With other diamonds, I can work by myself after camera view and just show you a result a little bit later right but with you i want to have the most satisfaction as we can and for ab diamonds that little skinny drill pen are the best and i'm talking about this one it really help you better it feels like diamonds um, wax stay longer because it has a smaller opening in a pen where wax sits and uh, not pulling wax away from the pen the other pen a little bit wider opening for the wax so when uh, wax sticking into the diamond the diamond kind of force wax to coming out i don't know why but there's the metallic um metallic layer on the top of the diamonds the glitter kind of sticking a little bit more harder to the regular wax uh, very often i have questioned what kind of wax i'm using if i'm using something different or not and my answer is absolutely not i'm using wax only that came with the diamond painting nothing special so you don't have to search for anything else all wax will work for you same way maybe some just more expensive but when we receive diamond painting with the wax block that one block will help you to create not just one diamond painting usually one little square enough for me to create a couple of diamond paintings uh, because if really i don't change my wax too often like for example this pen that i'm using right now I refill it like a few days ago and obviously I work on and off every single day and I do many many hours per day diamond painting because this is literally like my life and I love to do this and this pink wax is just perfect for me I don't need to buy anything fancy so I hope that will clear your question if I'm using something special maybe why your wax uh, you have to replace a little bit more often uh, i would say maybe sometimes your wax could be a little bit older brand or blend and get a little bit harder so if you have lots of this wax i'm sorry i'm doing now after camera i will put my black diamonds back into the bag so i can put ab diamonds into my tray uh, but for that we just will chat chit chat so yes sometimes wax could be like a crumby and coming out from your pen very easy and it's like not very sticky and gooey but could be crumble up like a bread uh, that wax definitely uh, probably old it was sent to you already old um, wax from dreamers design a little bit different consistency that i've received from different brands um, and i'm telling you why maybe a reason why because it's maybe i don't think even because it's in a uh, this little container it just uh wax feels like more fresh it's more stickier than different uh wax if i would use uh black 
a wax from a different company I can even if I touch it I know that this wax is much harder still good but harder uh, this one a little bit more stickier and sometimes could leave a little bit more residue on your diamonds if you push your pen too hard so try to be a little bit light on your hand and not to press too hard so while we were talking I already put in my tray this gorgeousness oh how much we can appreciate the sparkles a lot right and I like when it's go off the focus so let me try to do that there and now this mysterious <laughs> shimmer that I really really love there so we will place I don't have too many of the symbols but even few of them make me so happy and that is symbol number two and I have only like four five six seven eight diamonds oh hold on hold on I'm sorry there right in here we have those diamonds and we have to come close can we is it still blurry? Okay, so now I will use my special pen for this because these diamonds usually stick a little bit harder. And let me place them a little bit in here so you kind of peekaboo and see them a little bit. And we will place this gorgeousness. Oh, there's one more in here. And more here. Okay, so. I guess it's more than I was counting now realize and I use my pen so light I don't push soon as I feel that my diamond touch and glue I pull her out my pen that way my wax will stay more put inside of my pen without gushing out from the hole from the opening in the pen and less residue of this diamonds will be sticking into my uh, wax and keep a fresh more longer oh I wish that would be like a more of this diamonds in here see now I can use the same uh, sheet just to get our um, diamonds stick a little bit harder or of course we can cover with this and use our brand new tool to rub it off and press diamonds stronger but that tool as well it's good to use on the very very end now do we have another ab color in here i think we do and that's the symbol 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 looking like a Y this one symbol it's another AB color would you like to see another AB color because I do do you okay that was a quick change let's change one more time and we will be placing diamonds what color Ooh, I did not have this diamonds yet look at that uh, this is the brand new color in my collection, AB Diamonds. That Dreamer Design just brought them for our joy to work with. Look at that. So gorgeous. Oh, I wish that would be like a more sunny day. But it is raining outside, so we're not going to see too much of the sparkle, but... Uh, let's place those diamonds and I will like one more time double check make sure I'm on the same symbol and not something to mixed up I'm just checking right now I have any uh, similar symbols and um, no I think we are good all right so I will place my clear sheet uh, not clear sheet my protective sheet halfway we will go into this corner and here we are 
these diamonds are so beautiful they look like almost like you can see through uh, but it's not okay here a little bit has an extension a little bit on the side of the diamond usually I put them on a corner whereas diamond not going to touch each other so it doesn't matter and it's not visible because these diamonds are so beautiful you don't want to waste anything you can usually break that little tiny piece if it's something like extension stick into it oh this one I place upside down okay for the rescue we will have um, I need my tweezers because first I place upside down and then it's stuck in the wrong place never mind all right let's keep going slowly and slowly oh the roof on this building really will be shining it's like a maybe sunrise maybe sunset represent i don't know or maybe just a sunny bright day in here oh how i wish i can travel to this town with my the best camera to photograph all those little tiny streets never been in italy but this is always on my bucket bucket list to get there one day so cheers to all of you up there who's from Italy watching my video right now. I love your language. I love how beautiful people you are. Very kind. And to taste the real pizza, that would be good. Okay, we're going to move camera a little bit. So I'm sorry for all this inconvenience of moving my tripod back and forth, but uh, that's the beauty of recording video by finding those colors. I know you will forgive me for that because you love me. I just don't want to stop my camera all the time and I don't want like I could just make my video from from, uh, I could make my video from a longer shot so you can see at once the whole block of this uh, number three section that we have but you like to see my diamonds placed really really close it's more fun even I like this kind of videos And we can see beautiful diamonds very well. We can see the placement. You can judge me if I didn't place my diamonds straight enough. You will see everything. My, my wrongs, my rights, you know. Uh, I can't hide nothing in here. If I would say, okay, these diamonds are so beautiful. And then you look in it for a close shot. And they are awful, right? That would be like, okay... How can you say that it's beautiful if it's not? So in this view that I try to create for you, you can see everything with your own eyes and kind of confirm my words with your eyes if I'm telling you the truth or not. And by the way, if I don't like something, I will tell you something. For now, we are good. And this is a uh, first time the Dreamers design produce diamond painting with round diamonds uh, a few years ago when we just started we had only square diamonds and didn't think that we will be providing round diamonds because it's not full coverage you can see those little tiny corners that diamonds doesn't touch each other but so many of you requested that square diamonds a little bit harder for you to place and you like to just relax and enjoy with round diamonds so Dreamer Design decided to go forward to you with open arms and create diamond painting with round diamonds and also 
there are so many other diamond canvases they have a special shape diamonds different gems and if you are new with this design please check out their store it is amazing stuff what you can see up there um, yes price not exactly cheap but you will pay for the quality of the diamond canvas uh, it, it is fabric it's a double layered fabric that is print go very well sorry my tripod stuck a little bit on the glue on the bottom of my canvas uh, you will pay for the quality of the canvas because this is not just a plastic this is a fabric and a very good quality fabric so that's why this glue in here uh, very nicely pour on and it looks like a mirror it's so nice and smooth uh, then uh, of course dreamer design paying commission oopsie flip a little bit uh, paying commission uh, money to the designers who provide us with this beautiful art so um, this is very something nice that not too many websites doing uh, dreamer design pay money to the artists for providing this art for us to enjoy for years and years to come so that's why it's a little bit more money but if you already have at least one diamond paint and canvas from dreamer design that you will know how different this feels from other canvas if I have a canvas a finished canvas on a plastic and on a plastic base and I have lots of them and I hold this one finish it feels like you know a sky and a ground uh, it's it's very heavy this one because well the quality it's not comparable even yes diamonds shiny too it's shining but it's still you you feel the difference in your hands and diamonds always was more shiny and sparkle especially square one so this is my first canvas with round diamonds that we are testing out with you and so far what i see i like it looks like round diamonds also very nice and sparkle and I just love this touch of AB diamonds okay we are almost done and I will be let me just double check if I missed any AB oh, oh okay I did it's all the way in here on the side of this roof so we have to move a little bit more to this side and then I will show you these diamonds. Uh, we can we can put some sparkles a little bit. Uh, let me add a couple more diamonds to my tray. And then I will turn light. Right now I work without light at all. I don't need a light. Uh, reason why? Because uh, canvas are very clear to work on. Uh, symbols printed very nicely. So I don't need any extra light pad or any extra overhead light all I have right now is my open window blinds and that's it uh, pretty much uh, this camera is picking good light right now so you can see good but for the shine of diamonds we will turn my table uh, floor stand magnifier light that I use always you see not once in my videos and we will get some extra sparkles with you let's move forward that's it that's only line we have and i think we will have a good enough video link for you to watch and enjoy hopefully Whew. i just a uh, tiny kitty fur it just sometimes flying in the air and landing where you don't want to. It's difficult when you have a, a pets in your house. 
Okay, why cannot place this one? Let's get another one. Oh, I was sticking on top of the other diamond. It's a little bit darker for me to place, but it's bright for you. I think I placed this one flat okay so let me turn the light a little bit we will zoom out to see this okay this is our square oh a little bit more okay now we can see the whole square I will turn my light for the extra let's see if we can have some extra sparkle without trying to spill diamonds that I have in here on the table okay let me see okay it's too far away to see the sparkles so we definitely have to <laughs> bring you close to the canvas okay we're just gonna go for a ride a little bit more aha uh -huh. now we will see the sparkles of diamonds there we didn't place too many of them but Next to the black one diamonds, they are definitely this AB. We can see them beautiful. Let me take you off the tripod and show you in a better way a little bit. Okay, so it is uh, upside down right now because that's the way I was seeing diamonds as I was diamond painting them. And here it is, our diamonds looks absolutely gorgeous if I can put a little bit an angle and shine the light from the lamp let's see here's the AB diamonds we can see how they beautiful they shine oh on a sunny day outside diamond painting looks so beautiful Okay, so what do you think so far about this video today? Do you think I will stick to work by the section or I will peel all this paper and do cross country? Comment below. Let's see who's right, who's wrong. Friends, what do you think about our video? Do you think that... Uh, and I would love to hear from you. Now, can we get this canvas in one shot in here? Let's try. Maybe I have to stand up for this. It is big. As you can see, three layers of sheets went probably third of the canvas to cover. But in one pack, it's 30 sheets. So it's more than enough for you to finish uh, the whole big canvas and the canvas of course is huge it's 90 by 60 centimeters so do you think and comment below will I stick to work on this canvas by the section peeling one by one our uh, sheets helpers or I will peel them off and work cross country by the old numbers so I would love to hear from you in the comment section and of course like video if you like this video subscribe comment and i will see you in my next episode of video review tutorial diy i don't know what it's going to be but i know i always enjoy to create video for you no matter what uh, subject we will pick so yes please leave me a comment and i will see you next time goodbye